In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use schema markup on a hotel room. So we're going to start in schema app by going to the structured data editor. Within the editor, we're going to choose hotel room. So if you go into the lookup class, you can just type in hotel and select the hotel room. Scroll down, click on create, and we'll get started. So in this case, we're going to look at the premium guest room. So in this one, we'll actually call out uh, the different type of beds, the guests, um, as well as the different amenities available. So let's go ahead and name it the premium guest room. And then we're gonna take the URL and go ahead and add that in the URI and click okay. Schema app's now going to bring up the markup available for a hotel room. Now before, since we have it in our clipboard, we're gonna add the URL in there. And now what we're gonna do is, is start by adding a couple different things that we have on here. So the first thing I like to do is add an image. So it's at the top of the page. So we're gonna copy the image address and add it in under image. You can just cut and paste that in and click it down. I'll show you a trick for turning that into an image object. Next, we're gonna do contains in. So contains is really sort of where, you know, where does this room exist? Um, and if you've already marked up your hotel, what you can do is contained in place and you can just type in uh, the name of the hotel. Again, it's contained in a building, sort of in a specific hotel. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the different bed types. So for each of the beds, you're gonna create a data item. So we're gonna call it king bed. You can just leave the URI as the default. Um, and then you can use the plus to add additional beds. So in this case, there's a queen bed, two queen beds, or one king bed. So we'll add uh, two additional data items. We'll call it queen bed. And then we'll also add two queen beds. Once you've added those, uh, what we'll need to do is save it and then go ahead and edit them. So let me show you what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and save the changes. Now what we're gonna do is go to those connected data items. So here we'll go to the two queen beds and then we're gonna edit it. And this is unique with schema app in that we're actually building the graphs and connecting that information. So here are the two important things are the number of beds. So in this case there's two and the type of bed is queen. And then we're gonna go ahead and save those changes. To go back to our room, we're gonna click on the reverse and then we're gonna go to king bed and do the same. Edit it. Add in the number of beds, in this case it's one, type of bed, king. Um, and so you can do that for all the different bed types that are available in the guest room. Now we're gonna go ahead and edit it again. And this time we're gonna add amenities. So you see the amenity features here, and this is really characteristics or services available. Now if you've already added some of the amenities when you added your hotel, you can just type those in. So for example here, Wi-Fi was one of the ones that we previously added as well as in-room safe. So you can see that those just pull right up and, and use the previous information you've added. And then if there's additional ones that you want to add, you can go ahead and just add additional ones and then come back to your page and say, you wanna see sort of what it says. So premium newly renovated larger rooms located on lower floors. Um, let's see if there's any other, there's, there's no additional information. So really the amenities here will say the 55 inch flat screen television. So we'll go ahead and add that in and we'll just, and what we're going to do after this, oh, it's trade to put the link in. So let's take that out. Flat screen TV. And we'll click OK. Um, and then what we need to do for the flat screen TV is that we need to save it. And then go into flat screen TV and remember, and we're going to add the value true to say that um, there is a flat screen TV available in this room. Now we can go back here and it says, you know, upgraded fixtures might be another one that you do. Um, and then you might also say like newly renovated might be another piece that you wanna highlight. Then what I encourage you to do is just to review if there's any other properties that are listed on the page that you wanna call out. Uh, so it might call out floor size. So this is actually looking for the actual floor size, which is listed on this page. So it's uh, 400 feet squared um, so that we can go ahead and, and add that in. 
Um, you also, if there's other information on the page, you know, number of rooms, occupancy, um, pets allowed, you can put in yes or no, um, as well as additional photos, reviews, et cetera. Um, the ones we covered, though, are the main ones where you covered the beds, the amenities, and making sure that you connect it to where it's contained in, which is the hotel. So if you go ahead and click Save, you'll then see the JSON-LD. If you go under Actions, Get Schema JSON-LD, the JSON-LD is there, and you can see it's also pulling in the information about the Sheraton Hotel. Now, because we added the links for the image, what I suggest you do is to come over here under Tools and go to Image Repair. What we're going to do under image repair is actually convert those URLs directly to, um, to image objects as well as pull in the height and size. And it's just the faster way to add in your images. So that's how you add schema markup for a hotel room.